Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Is what Mickey Mouse would say. Especially in this situation. Hey guys. This is Dash All Rose here. I am back. Back with some very, very uh, big news. Very big news. Like, it's really big news. So, um, you guys know Nelson Peltz, right? You guys know um, him. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know that he's a... Uh, a lot of people aren't talking about it on YouTube, but... But, um, but there are people... People are talking about it. Um, about... Just not as many people, but... They're talking about how Nelson Peltz has been trying to get himself a board seat in the Disney company... And he wants to bring some of his people in there. There's been that news. But you also know... Know that Bob Iger and his crew are also freaking trying to like sabotage Nuts and Pelts. Yeah, I'm sure that's not news either. But what is news is apparently... Uh, they're, they're very desperate. They're very desperate. And they're, try they're trying to... Uh, they're trying so hard to, to keep... Well, Bob Iger mainly himself, because he, he's a very selfish man who only seems to care about himself, is really trying to, really hard to keep himself in the board because um, Nelson Peltz is trying to get himself in the board because he's probably panicking and worried that Nelson Peltz is going to kick him out of, of the... as CEO and, and kick him out of the of the, you know, Disney company, which, by the way, he should have been kicked out, like, a long time ago, and all that, and he should have never been brought back either, like, after Chapek, Chapek was brought in to, to take his place and all that, which Chapek was only there for a couple years, a lot of people are, I mean, in the company and all that are, are stating that, uh, Chapek wasn't fired, uh, but he was, he was, like, he, uh, he stepped down as CEO, but I believe he was fired. He was fired because um, he was doing a very poor job, a very poor job at running the company. Just like Bob Iger before him, he was doing a very poor job at running the company and all that, and... Um, and, and they basically pushed him out the door. Because Disney has this, this habit of, like, like, not everyone, but uh, mo most of their staff that they've, that they, they co-said, um, got, well, got, that left the company or all that. It's mostly because they got fired. Sometimes they quit for their, for their own reasons, but most of the time it's because either A, they, they didn't do exactly what they wanted by, you know, when it comes to running certain stuff the way they want to, because Disney is very controlling about that. Or B, it's, it's the, it's the, um, you know, they're not on their political side and all that, which, again, this is a Disney company here, it should not be, well, it's a company in general, it should not be focusing on politics all the time. I mean, they have a politic, you know, thing they can do ABC Family and all that, they got ABC News and all that, they can, they don't need to focus on, you know, politics and all that throughout the entire company. But they, but they've been doing that. They've been doing that a lot, like, pretty much since Iger came in, pretty much. He, they've been starting to go down a, a horrible path. Because basically, though, is what happened was, you know, like, when Eisner got, got taken out, Iger came in. Iger came in, because Eisner was apparently running the company into the ground, too. But where Iger has pretty much been a failure since pretty much the start, you could tell it was... I mean, he bought, he bought out Pixar and Marvel, which were good ideas. I mean, those were, at the time, very good ideas. But he kept buying out studios that Disney had no idea what to do with. And all that by laying off, like... I mean, they, they screwed George Lucas over. They, they put Kathleen Kennedy in charge and all that. Somehow she still has a job and... Cetera, et cetera, you know, like, basically he was supposed to fix some of them, of, you know, Eisner's mistakes, but instead he, where Eisner, you know, was helping the company throughout the 90s and all, about making, the, some of the movies were good, some of them were bad, but most of them were, like, you know, really good masterpieces, like Beauty and the Beast, and, you know, The Lion King and Aladdin and all that were very good movies, and so were some in the 2000s, like Leo and Stitch and all that, people really liked them. But once he was kicked out of the door, Iger came in from ABC Family, and he basically was trying to, 
Well, they were they were sent him in there to like fix the company, but instead he ends up he fucks it all up. He basically uh, turns the company into a political company. Uh, focuses on like changing crap for stupid reasons. Like some of the scenes were changed or banned, like on and all that for dumb reasons and all that. And um, and you know it's that's kind of what what's happened with like some of the properties like Pixar and all that he bought. Which, like I said, it was a good idea for, for Iger, Iger to, to buy out Pixar because that was a good idea because they, they can work together and all that. The problem is, though, they started running out of, like, steam and all that, like, towards, like, the 2010s and all that. They were still making good movies, but they were not as well received as the older movies. And, and by the 2020s, the movies got really, really just hit or miss. Like, I don't I don't think they were all that bad. Like, I think... I think um you know like like Luca and and Soul it, it, it were really good movies but all but Toy Story four which I guess technically that came out in 2019 but Toy Story four and uh, you know and you know like and then we had Onward and uh, and you know Turning Red and Lightyear and and, and I mean and uh, you know and then we got the um you know Elemental movie all, all those movies were like were either horribly received or very mixed. And that's the thing, though. That's the problem with a lot of these movies, is they kind of just... And, I mean, I mean, not not all of them, are again, were, were part like where the Disney's fall, but, like, movies... But movies like Elemental, it probably would have done, like, a lot better if it was advertised better. And that goes to... That goes the same for Lightyear. Well, Lightyear's problem was is they were trying to... They... Uh, they 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 took everything that the original movie did. They buried it under the bus and they remade it with a bore with with boring characters. And it does it's not a space adventure. They they got rid of you know like um well they got rid of you know all the the space rangers from the original movie. They replaced them with annoying characters and it just became a, a it, it fell flat on its face and that's the problem. They they just kept on they kept on you know. You know, doing that stuff, and, and that goes with the Star Wars movies, and then you know the Marvels and all that. They, they they've been doing this with a lot of their movies, and and Iger's responsible for a lot of these. Now, technically, like movies like Lightyear and all that came out when Chapek was in charge, but Lightyear was already in development before Chapek was in charge of the company. He was in charge. He came in like you know around right before COVID hit because somehow I somehow coincidentally Iger left he left the company right before COVID hit. I'm not kidding, he left in, in February right before COVID hit. And I wanna clarify, at that time we already knew it was spreading. So he probably thought that, you know he thought that, you know, it was probably a a a, a bad idea to be in charge and all of that mess. He didn't want to put up with it, so he put Che back in charge and all that to get them through the pandemic and all that. I mean, it's possible maybe he didn't know it, but the, the, but knowing the guy, how much he lies and all that and, and all that stuff, you know, it, it's not. It, it's possible. But once Chapek was in charge, you know, he got blamed for a lot of crap Iger did. Not saying Chapek said stupid stuff and all that, like animations for you know kids and all that stuff, but he didn't do a lot of this crap Iger's doing. And, and the crap Iger's doing now, like, we get involved with Florida and all that, Chapek was doing too. Because Iger came in, and instead of fixing the situation, he actually escalated it and made it worse. He made it worse. He made it worse than it already was, and prices have been going up since, you know, he... Since he came back and all that from the parks, their movies and all that, they've been getting worse and... And the thing is, though, is I, I really don't know why they freaking bought, brought this guy back. This guy is a is, is a horrible CEO. He's a horrible CEO. I've talked about him before, how bad he is. He's a freaking bad CEO. But Nelson Peltz was basically giving them a warning and all that, like, and was, was threatening the full. He was they were threatening him the first time. I you know, well, like I and him, I guess maybe talked it out or something, and he was gonna fix the company and all that. But what did he? What did he do? Apparently, he fired one of the people working with Nelson and Peltz, and that set Nelson and Peltz off again. So I thinks he's this unstoppable freaking beast. He's basically Palpatine. He's freaking Palpatine, of um, you know, uh, you know how Palpatine in Star Wars has all this power, but it, it kind of went into his head. That's how he lost. That's exactly what what happened with um Iger. Iger got freaking so much 
power and he's got power in his head and and too political and all that to the point where it's it's gone to his head and he's not thinking crap through and and that's the thing though. I, I'm not gonna say Nellis and Pellets will fix the company. I'm hoping he will, but after Chapek, I don't have a lot of faith. I'm hoping he'll fix it, but and especially since Chapek was already in the company before Iger before Iger, you know, you know, came in and all that. Um well, well came back and all that, you know, like he he, he was a C, well, he was a part of the parks, he got put into the CEO position and then um and then, you know, he got kicked out, and Iger came back, and... But the problem is, though, is this, this battle is getting freaking desperate. Like, I think Disney is definitely scared, mostly Iger, because Iger is... Iger is just a freaking greedy... A greedy bastard who, who again, tr he treats his employees like shit. Yeah, Chapek was kind of like that, but Chapek... I don't, I don't think... I don't think... Ch well, Chapek wasn't really, um... I'm gonna say Chapek was basically a guy who... Who got put in there at the last minute? I don't feel like he he had a plan. I feel like, like I think like I think Chapek was just put in there at the last minute because I don't think he had they had any announcements that he was gonna he was gonna you know um you know take over um as a CEO. I think he was put in there at the last minute because Iger just flat out out of nowhere said he was gonna retire, which make, make, makes me think even. More proof that he knew freaking COVID was gonna get bad and all that, and he didn't freaking do shit when when the, when COVID did happen. He was he just kind of just left the company. He didn't freaking come back until like later and all that. And some people were saying he he was still part of the company behind the scenes and all that, which is possible. But he didn't do shit to to stop some of this crap if he was. And again, even if he wasn't, you know, technically part of the company, he didn't do shit to help him out through the pandemic. He just left them. He got all this freaking money. He got like millions and millions of dollars and he blew it all on, on, on crap and all that and he came back and he made a big, big mistake coming back because people are starting to realize what kind of a person he really is. Because if you guys watch a lot of videos, um, no offense to other people, people can get misled sometimes, but, but Iger, um, well, a lot of people were happy Iger came back because, uh, not because maybe he would fix some of his mistakes he made in the past, but because they believed that Chapek was responsible for all his peep, all his stuff. But this crap has been going on before Chapek was even in charge. That they're like, for example, their movies have been down, have been going downhill, they went downhill before Chapek was even in charge. I mean, we had, like, The Force Awakens, we had the, the, you know, The Rise of Skywalker and all that, and, you know, and all those those horrible sequel movies and all that. That was Iger's fault. Iger was responsible for that. Iger also, um, you know, was the reason why, um, Lucas, like, George Lucas wasn't a part of the, of the movies. He was, he already had all the scripts and everything written and all that, and it could argue... Well, maybe it's because the prequels were not received very well. They wanted to do their own thing, but I, I, don't, I don't think that was probably the case. Besides, they ended up making it even worse in the prequels by, you know, changing up crap and and having three different writers and directors for the movies and all that. And it really messed them all up. And But, um, yeah, I don't know. But the thing is, though, is um, where I'm going with this is the fact that Nelson Pelst is now here and he's... I don't know if he's going to win the board seat or not, but Disney's got to change. If Disney doesn't freaking change, the company's going to go under. They're they're losing tons and tons of money. They're freaking laying off people. Like, they're still freaking laying off people. Because Iger is, is a, a an asshole who treats his employees like shit and lays them off. Chapek did the same thing, yes, but... But, you know, but also, Disney did lose a lot of money in, you know, 2020, like, by 2021 and 2022. Well, also 2020, I should say, because he lost a lot, but... But he lost, he lost a lot of stuff. Like, I mean, they, they, I mean, they lost a lot of money and, uh, and all that. But, I mean, I'm not saying laying off people was the best idea because they could have stole some of their properties. They don't need, like, Fox and all that. Because they still, they still freaking own Fox. They, they still own it. They still don't know what they're doing with it. They freaking, they shut Blue Sky Studios down. Now, that, that was technically, that was under, um, that was under, uh, Peck, of course. I don't know if Peck was the one that made the decision. Because just because he's a CEO doesn't make, it means he made the decision there. But, I know that, like, 
I know, like, Iger was, um, you know, Iger and him butted heads and all that, and with Hulu and all that, trying to gain control and lose control, and I don't know, it's like, because basically now, now Disney owns all of Hulu, but they, they blew a bunch of money on that too, so basically they, they got, they got Fox, but they got, like, shit from it, they basically spit, they spent 71, like, uh, uh, 71 billion dollars on Fox, and Nelson Pulse even points out how stupid this is, I've even telling people this. It's got, it's got nothing, it's got nothing to do with, um, with, you know, I mean, I follow people like Clownfish TV, because I've had people, some people in the comments tell me about in the past about, like, pointing out, like, how I follow, like, you know, certain people and all that, like, and I'm like, I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't follow them to watch them and learn all this stuff. Well, some of it I do learn, like, I didn't know they spent that much money on Fox, um, but I, but I, but I watched, I watched them because, you know, it, because, you know, it's nice to have people, you know, agree with you, you know, I mean, I'm not saying you can't disagree with people, but, you know, that's kind of why a lot of people watch news and all that, they like to, they like to have, hear people have opinions they have, you know, and their point of view, but, um, I'm not saying you should follow people to learn everything, you should observe it yourself, and I already knew before I watched Clownfish TV that freaking buying Fox was a stupid idea, because I, 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 before I even knew they spent all that money, I was like, they, they've gotten, they, that was basically, they got too big, and I'm like, they have to pay all the freaking animations and, and shows that run on these networks and all that, so I already knew it was a freaking stupid idea, and Disney was getting too big. I mean, again, you can go back, I mentioned this in the past, you can go back and watch people's reactions, people were freaking, freaking out, like, like people were, like, freaking out over this whole deal. I actually was myself, because I'm like, now Disney owns Fox. I'm looking back on it, though. I mean, to be fair, it's better they bought Fox and now Warner Brothers. Some people were like, I wish I wish Disney bought Warner Brothers. And I'm like, no, you don't wish that, because Disney would have ran freaking Warner Brothers into the ground even further. I think right now Warner Brothers is, is bad, but I still don't think they're as bad as Disney. Disney has gotten way worse than Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers still has some stuff going for them. They got their, you know, their streaming platform. They got their, you know, they got some movies coming out here and there that are good. Oh, Disney has has a few, but they're a lot of them are not really that great that I hear. And um, I can't say anything because I kind of just dozed off on all this stuff. I kind of just quit watching a lot of these movies because I've been hearing they're so bad. And I'm like, I watched a couple of them, but like Elemental and all that. But I've seen like Ice Age. Adventures of Buck Wild, that movie was bad, and all that, and a lot of this crap was just bad, and I'm just, I'm like, you know, I don't want to watch any more of these movies, and that's the thing, though, like, they, they, they're, they're making some good stuff, but a lot of it is also really, it's not been well received, it's been bad, or it's, it's alright, it's not great, and all that, and, and I mean, yeah, Warner Brothers also has been canceling a lot of movies when, in production, which is stupid, but at the same time, they still have good stuff coming for them. I'm not saying they're good either, they're, they're freaking bad too now, they've gotten bad, but at least they're, they're, they're watchable, you know, now it's like, Disney, they keep changing crap and all, they've gotten too big, they change crap, and it's just getting worse, and I don't know, but... With Nelson Pell still coming in, I don't, I'm really hoping he'll freaking win. Like, I, I, I would totally vote for Nelson Pell if I could. I freaking would vote for him. Again, I don't know if he's if he's gonna if he's saying all that stuff to get in t to the boards or not. It's hard to tell if he's lying or not. But I, either way, freaking, either way, Disney is gonna die no matter what. Like, Iger, Iger is just keeping the company running for like a few more years. Is what he's doing. He's like he's dragging it out. They're still freaking doing horrible. Their movies are doing bad. They're they're losing, they're losing lots of you know, they're losing lots of money and all that. And they're they're, they're just they're just doing bad. Like they're um they're 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 not doing as well as they used to be. And part of this is because they gotten too big. They got too political and all that. And they've been laying off all their great staff. Some of the staff have been leaving because they're, they're tired of Disney's bullshit. They've been going to other studios. And although, like, DreamWorks and all that has made some bad movies, too. And, you know, and there's also Skydance and all that. It's not made well-received movies, either. They're still making movies. for, So it's creating competition for Disney, which is not good. But, I don't know. I'm just going to say, too, um, I didn't mention this yet, that, um... 
that also um, Iger and his team apparently made a freaking whole video, a political video on freaking nuts and pelts, trying to convince people, like, which, by the way, it's, it's complete shit, it's a, it's a shitty video, but they, they make, they make a freaking, they make a, you know, a documentary, a video on, like, Nelson and Pelts, why he shouldn't be in there. And they keep repeating themselves. They repeat themselves, and they, like... And they keep pointing out shit and all that, but they keep doing the same shit that they're pointing out that Nelson and Pelts would do. And Nelson and Pelts has actually talked about, like... Like, he wants to bring back... Like, he wants to bring back Disney in kind of the way it was. Which is, I'm gonna probably be talking about the changes that might happen if he does get in charge... Which I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold my breath on it until it actually happens and he actually does something about it. But, but I will say though that the political crap is freaking. It was, it was a pretty crappy video and all that. And, and yeah, they're they're doing they're doing some stuff now. Like they they, they apparently they fought they fired um. They fired, uh, you know, um, the person in charge of uh, the live-action remakes, which, by the way, um, uh, I don't think that's going to do anything because they're still going to make live-action remakes. They still have some, in, I think, coming out. They have canceled some projects, too, I think, is what I've been hearing behind the scenes, but a lot of this crap is still happening. Iger's not fixing any of his mistakes. He's still laying off people, and, and you know, instead of selling off some of these properties, you know, Fox, you know, Fox, they can sell off Fox because they don't freaking need it. And they can get a lot of their money back. They can sell freaking... I think they need to sell Hulu. Too. They need to sell Hulu, too. Now, now um... I know some Pelts, um... I know some Pelts has been, um... W wanting to get... He's been wanting to take over, um... Well, he's been he's been taking over Disney. And he announced that he wants to merge Hulu and Disney Plus together, which I still think is a stupid idea because they've already put so much money into Hulu. They'd be better off just selling it off. I'm not gonna lie. Because people are people are pull, people are starting to pull off their content off of Hulu. They're pulling it off of there, and they're, they've been pulling it off there for a while now. But most of the Nickelodeon shows are gone. Warner Brothers still has a lot of their shows on there, but they also have it on their platform because of licensing issues. I'm assuming so. A lot of the shows you can watch on Warner Brothers, like I mean, I mean HBO Max, sorry HBO Max or Max as it's called now. You can do that. And then a lot, so a lot of crap is basically, it's just basically Disney Plus all over again at this point. It's just, that's all it is, Disney Plus. So they basically blew all their freaking money on this crap, and it's gonna be worthless at the end of all this. So, yeah, they, I don't care if I, that's part of the Fox deal. That's part of the Fox deal. They, they got, they got that out of Fox. So, that means they, they, they blew all their money on that. They, they, and they're probably talking, they might have to shut it down or something. And then there's also, they've also bought out Blue Sky, because they got Blue Sky in the deal. They freaking shut that down. And then a lot of their shows on, on FX, which is Fox, are now, they've been, well, they've been going on for so long. People are just the, pointing out how bad they are now. I've heard The Simpsons has gotten a little bit better, but I, but I know, I know Family Guy, I've seen The Family Guy, because I was never a huge Simpsons fan growing up. Um, I, I, I thought it was okay, but I, I never cared for it too much. And I watched the older seasons. I didn't like the movie, and the movie was pretty good. But, but um, but I will say that um, that they've um, you know, they these shows have been going on for for so long now that they've been that they've been running the course. Because Family Guy, especially if due to voice actors passing away off screen, they've had to kill off a few characters and. They've had very few side characters. They've also gotten rid of, I think, a lot of the sex jokes because Disney doesn't want it or something like that. I could be wrong on that one. I mean, I'm just assuming because Dizzy, I mean, Dizzy has done that stuff before. They've controlled things. But, I mean, at this point, Family Guy is not really that great anymore. Um, it's it's not as, I've, I've seen it, it's not as bad, bad as it was in the past, but when Fox was still owned by a different company. Um, but... It's still not that great. It's still really, it's still really, um, it's still really bad. Like, it's really boring and all that, and it feels empty, but, but I don't know. But they, they've been, they, but they, you know, they own that crap now. I mean, they own some shows that have actually, that have actually done really good, but they also own Futurama, which also, they, that's been, it's run its course. They, Futurama has been on, on the, sh on there for a long time. They made sequels to, you know, a lot of the movies, like Home Alone and all that, and Ice Age. I mentioned Ice Age, 
and people no one's asked for it and people and people have complained how this crap's been milked before Disney bought it out so they really blew their money on all this crap. I mean, they got they got a lot of Fox's library, not all of it because I think some a lot of it was licensed by other people, but they got a lot of it, but they overspent on it too much. And they probably shouldn't have bought it anyway because they already because you know, they've gotten they got they got too big where they're making they're focusing too much on all the other properties and none of their own. And on top of that, they already had a lot of movies in the works, but they freaking canceled all of them. They, they gutted all the movies when freaking Iger bought out Disney. Which, by the way, that was under him. Not the buying out part, but also the fact they canceled all the movies. They, they canceled all that crap, so... So, uh, yeah. But, um, I think there was supposed to be a McDonald's movie, too, I think. I, I think that's what I was... What, what I saw, but they canceled it, so... So yeah, there's clearly there's clearly a lot of problems, and the fact that they're freaking trying to call out Nelson Peltz and make these stupid videos is bullshit. Because um, because you know, like I, I, I feel like at this point it'd be better if he came in and they kick Iger's ass out of the company because he should have been kicked out years ago, even before Chapek was in charge. They should have kicked him out. They shouldn't even hire a Chapek. I, and I think Ch a Chapek actually had another person that was going to be in charge, but Iger freaking kicked him out. So, so freaking, so basically what they did is they, um, they, they fired Chapek. They fired the guy that was supposed to replace Chapek. They freaking brought Bob, uh, Bob Iger back. And now Bob Iger's running the company in the, in the ground even further. And I, I, I think what, what happened was, is uh, they, they, um, the reason why they fired Chapek is because he wasn't doing what Iger was wanting. He was basically exploding Disney for what they were and all that. And the problem is, I think at that point, they, he screwed up really badly because now that they, they don't know what the Disney company is. They know what it is. Well, some people have already talked about him before. I have, and all that before Chapek, you know, and Iger came back and all that. I've already talked about some of the problems they've had, but... But, you know, now that, you know, now that, you know, Chapek, you know, showed the company what it is, and, and Iger's basically doing the same shit Chapek was doing, they can't really hide it anymore. They can't hide it. And like I said, Nelson Peltz is, um, I'm not sure if he's going to be, you know, a great person to run the company or not, but... But if he, if he can turn some of the company around and, and make it, you know, somewhat decent again, that'll be nice. Also, I want to before I talk about some changes he might make, because I'm gonna do some predictions on that if he does get in charge, which I'm not saying he will, but you know, I will say that um, I found this out a few days ago um, that apparently I am um, I am related to I guess Walt Disney himself. Yes, apparently I'm related to Walt Disney. We're like we're like uh, co like cousins. Like he's like a, a great great cousin to me. Uh, he's like a, he's, he's not like a full cousin, apparently he's like, I, f I forgot like, what, what they say, it's like, like, I, I don't remember what it was, um, exactly, I keep, I keep having it in my head and it keeps popping out, but, um, we are cousins in a way, so we're related in a way, um, so that's pretty interesting, I, I still don't care for freaking out and go Disney, I can still not like her, even though I found out I'm related to, um, Walt Disney, Cause I don't like Abigail Disney. Ab Abigail Disney can burn to burn in hell too. Cause I I hate how she freaking she basically you know tr tr runs her mouth about Walt and all that, and then and is on their side on Bob Iger's side and the gr the, the gr groups for because of political reasons and, and all that, and that they're destroying the company and all that, and I don't like that. But yeah, that's I just wanted to point out that fact because I thought it was interesting. But, um, but before I let this video go, because it's already kind of long, I want to point out some prediction videos I might have if Nelson Pulse, you know, um, comes back in charge. If this is, if this does happen, but, like I said, they're gonna have to change, otherwise the company's gonna go bankrupt, they're gonna have to change. Because, like I said, just because, um, you know, a company is, is big and all, does not mean they can't fail. And people told me that, they're like, Disney's too big to fill, Disney's got lots of money, they don't have lots of money, they freaking blew it on a fox, they've laid off tons of their employees, and all that, they've, their movies have been bombing for the last few years, uh, so I think since 2018 is when this trend, 2017 or 2018 is when this trend started happening, 
their moves started bombing. They've been on this trend for forever now. They've been on this trend. And, um, you know, I mean, they, they, they made some, in the past, they made a few bad movies here and there, but not as bad as they've been in the last few years or so. But, um, anywho, so Nelson Peltz, like, if he becomes CEO of Disney, which I don't know if he's going to become CEO of Disney, but he does want a, a board, like, he wants to become part of the board of the Disney company. He wants to get a board seat. I think what he's gonna do is probably hire, probably hire. Uh, he's gonna kick Iger out probably because him and Iger hate each other. He's probably gonna kick him out because that's why Iger made that 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 stupid you know you know video and all that. Which I don't know if it's still up or not, but I know that that's a bunch of bullshit and um and that he's probably scared of this guy because this guy has so much stock of Disney. But also he'll probably hire someone. Younger to come and take in charge because he's old. Like he, this guy's in his eighties now, and I you know because he's got another person helping him out. So I'm pretty sure that they, we got two big people here who own a lot of Disney stock and have power. They're probably gonna come in and probably kick these people out. I think Kathleen Kennedy's probably gonna go, and I think he's probably gonna sell off some stuff too. I don't know if what he'll sell off, but but he I think he's probably gonna sell off. I think unfortunately Fox they might they might keep control of Fox unfortunately because like I said that that's the that's the problem what destroyed them in the first place they got too big and spent too much money but I I can see him possibly either selling ABC Family or Marvel or something I think they've already he's already talked about uh, you know shutting I mean I mean shutting down Hulu and merging it with Disney Plus which is that's a stupid idea but. Uh, but I can see them selling off some stuff. Because they got to do something. Because right now they're freaking losing money. Even if their movies start suddenly doing good. It's going to take forever to clean up the damage. And they got to find a way to bring some money back to the company. But also I have a feeling what's going to probably happen. Because this happened when Iger came in charge. And, and, and you know um, when Eisner got kicked out. Like when they kicked out Michael Eisner. Iger came in and they changed the, the, the Disney intro up. I have a feeling he's probably going to probably change it too and all that because he hates, he and he and Bob Iger hate each other, which I don't, I don't know, I don't feel like that's probably the best idea. I said in the past, I don't really care for this intro too much, but I think it's all right. I, I wish they could keep the intro in there somehow, but I have a feeling they're going to just, they're going to get rid of it. They're going to get rid of the intro and they're going to like um bring it back. I mean, I don't mind seeing the 2D castle intro again. I want to, I want them to bring it back, but I don't want them to bring it back and replace this one completely. Like they still use this one for the live action remakes or I mean, I mean the, the live action movies in general. Sorry, <coughs> I'm sorry, I had something in my throat. But they could do that. I mean, I think that could probably be a possibility. He might bring back Walt's name, too. I'm not sure, because Walt, ne Walt needs his name back in Disney. He needs it back. It's still in the records. If you look at the credits and all that, it's in the records. And on cases, on, on, on DVDs. But they removed his freaking name, and they removed pictures. Which makes the company's name feel very small. And you can argue, well, people know this company as Disney. That's what people call it. That's what I call it. But... But still, it's still empty when it doesn't have Walt's name in it. It's to be called Walt Disney Pictures, not Disney. Because then that just makes it look freaking generic as hell. And a lot of people have complained about about companies doing that. Where they've replaced their logos and um, make them smaller. I have that problem with freaking a place like Dunkin' Donuts. It's called now Dunkin'. They got rid of the donuts part. So it's just called Dunkin' now. And they got rid of the name. I don't know why they got rid of it. I, uh, I was told by my 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 mom that you know they got rid of it because they don't really, maybe they don't because they don't sell a lot of donuts anymore. But I still think you know getting rid of the name Donuts and Dunking makes no sense because basically you know it's not the same without the freaking donut because you know they sell donuts there. They may not sell as many as they used to, but they still sell donuts there. That's the exact same thing I'm having with, you know, them removing Walt's name from the company. It makes it look very generic when it pops up on the intro. But it also, um, you know, it, it also doesn't feel like, you know, Walt Disney, you know, pictures anymore. It feels like another company. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. 
Like, I don't know what's going to happen, but, um, those are some of my predictions. And I don't, I don't know exactly what he's going to do, but, but, but either way, it's going to have to get fixed. Because if he doesn't, this whole company is going, going under. They've already fired so many people. If a couple of years ago, I was looking up, Disney had, like, like a couple hundred thousand employees. Now they probably have way less than that because they fired so many employees. So, um, yeah, I don't know how many they fired exactly, but they fired so many employees, and some people have quitted, so... Because they've shut down companies, they've merged stuff, and... And they've lost money and all that. So, uh, yeah, but, um... But, yeah, I don't know, but, um... Tell me what you guys think about this in the comments below. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.